Hello everybody and welcome back to Lone Star Trucking. Today we're back here in another K100 and this time we are taking a backhoe loader from Del Rio over to Fort Stockton. We haven't been to Fort Stockton yet. I believe the last time we, re we finished in Del Rio, something like that, uh, with our large construction, our huge construction. Uh, but today we're taking this backhoe loader and another fantastic K100. Uh, so let's get in the truck, let's get it fired up, and let's get going. Ready to roll. Oh, it's ready to roll. We are ready to roll. Uh, hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day and uh, having a good week. Let's get this guy in gear. Let's get out of here. Actually, let's adjust the mirrors real fast because... Every time you take one of these jobs, you have to adjust the mirrors. So let's do that real fast. Um, and this is what I always do. Not the mirrors, but uh, let's adjust our seat is what I usually do. I usually go about, I don't know, 80, 80 there and then bloop, 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 back all the way. Yeah, right about there. That way I can see that left mirror. So off we go. Uh, 552,000 miles on this semi. So I believe we're going right here. Yeah, it looks like a good spot. So we got, what do we got? Uh, about four, I said 14 minutes. Now we got 246 miles to go. So we'll get out of here. Turn left. We will turn left. So aggressive. Mm-hmm. Turn right. Come to a stop here. We'll see if we can get this guy to go. Give him a flash of the headlights, let him go first. We are off and running. Get ready to turn left. Make sure we don't have. Oh no, we're not going across the railroad track, so that's fine. Watch out for traffic here. Get, we're good on the right. Uh, we're good after that Prius. Let's go. Off we go. 14 minutes, probably. So yeah, hopefully everybody is having a good week, having a good day. Finally Friday. Um, heard some beeping. Have no idea what that is. I mean, we're going 30. Turn right. Turn right. Yeah, so I was all distracted by the uh, beeping I heard, and I don't think it was Discord. I mean, it could have been, because I have, do have that open. But finally Friday, while you're watching this video as it comes out, uh, as you can see, like my time right now is 8.07 p.m. I need to be in the right, left-hand lane anyway. Um, so not Friday for me, but... Go straight. Oh yeah, we got a green light here. But it's, it's sneaking up on us as uh, as we, as I come to the end of the end of the week. Oh, I need to go left here. I need to concentrate on where I'm driving as well. I'm all getting all flustered and confused. But always excited for the weekend. Um, 
If you didn't know, the Season 3, the Season, the More Freedom Series Season 3 and IROC Series Season 2 video preview came out this week. I'm, I'm going to get that out there. Like, I'm just, I'm going to try to be able to talk for the rest of this video, for the rest of this drive. But, yeah, so those, that video came out earlier this week and on Wednesday. And I'm super excited about the More Freedom Series and the just everything that's going to be going on with it i'm always excited for it i've missed doing the races and i'm really looking forward to getting back into it i know that a lot of the people that are in the series are super pumped about getting into it getting back in and watching their driver and all that stuff go straight So, check, what is the speed limit? 35, all right. Looks like we're straight on for a little while here. Lots of stuff to do in it. Uh, I have a significant portion of the people that ha were in last season have expressed their interest to be in this season of the More Freedom series, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, it does mean that I am going to have a few car, a few new cars to paint this season. So, no, we need to get over. Oh, accident! So yeah, I'm going to have a lot of cars to paint for this season. Um, thinking about it Ghost since we have Toyota we're going to get some new cars that have uh, Toyota as their manufacturer and the the Dodge is switching from the Intrepid which would it which is what it would have been in 2003 to the Charger the 2008 version of the Charger so that's the template I'll be using to paint the Dodge cars. So most of those will get new paint on them. Um, I know for my car, it's it's pretty it's pretty close to the same. I'm almost done with my car. It's pretty much the same as it was last year. Uh, we're going with a new modern paint job on all of them, and that should be interesting as I repaint some cars and whatnot. Oh, well, there's a viewpoint. Where are we at? Just kind of looking around. Maybe it's of that bridge. I don't know. We'd have to go down there and find out, right? But yeah, that's uh, what we have in store for the More Freedom series this year. And I'm very, 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 very much looking forward to calling the races, driving. Not, I'm not driving, but calling the races painting the cars, getting everything set up for it, and it should be a lot of fun. Slow down around this turn up this hill. I know that that will probably consume a lot of my free time over the next month and a half while I'm painting cars. But again, if you are interested in being a part of the More Freedom series, and what I've been kind of thinking is, is that if we do get enough interest in the More Freedom series that there's more than 42 drivers that, well, you know, maybe we could do like a mini series of people that new new to the series, maybe move them up next year, something like that. So, but I don't know, lots of stuff in my mind can't say it's in the works. It's just in my head, really. 75. We're going to be able to make this a short time. Only going about 65 right now. Ooh, a new viewpoint. We'll check it out. We'll look outside the window here. Oh, look at that. That's freaking cool. We're just getting over into the other lane, but that's really neat. Not 
not sure if I should do the viewpoints and whatnot in this or not. I am doing them in my normal multiplayer profile that I have that we use for comp. Oh my gosh, I thought that guy was coming across uh, doing the convoys. So, got a yawn in there. 75 is still our speed limit. Oh, randomly showing up terrain, that's nice. Downhill run. Hopefully everybody is enjoying the content on the channel so far this year. I know I've enjoyed making it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I really like doing this series of just starting from scratch here in Lone Star Trucking. And it's been a, quite a long time since I actually started from scratch. I, I know I started my Codvoy profile from scratch. Ooh, all of a sudden, just all the yawns. Excuse me. I started my convoy profile from scratch, but it's been, oh my gosh, you know, two and a half years, almost three years since I started that. And so much has changed in the game since then. So it's been kind of nice to just start anew, start fresh. Especially here in Texas. I think that's one of the coolest parts is starting in the new state. And, you know, in the, in the regular game, I have all, all the cities are unlocked for me in my normal profile that I use. So all the cities are unlocked. Excuse me. Um, you know, we, we drive w way too fast sometimes to see all this great scenery that they've put in here. And... It just, it's so amazing. It really does make me want to come and visit Texas and see what, you know, drive through it, really. I mean, I've driven through Texas. Uh, on my way to California once, I drove through the, I guess, called the panhandle of Texas. And it was very long <laughs> across there, several hours but it was on I-40 through the top part of Texas and it just seemed like it took forever, but you know, it was like four or five hours, I think. Oh, I know what it is. It's a, it's a thing to tell me I'm speeding. Keep right. I may have turned that on. It's like we've been down this road. I know I say it a lot, is you know, for people that don't live in a country where you just you have to drive a lot so in the u.s i don't know how it is in other countries uh but the u.s we drive a lot oh we got something up here slow down slow down we got a road event going on what this semi does. Come on, buddy. He's going just very, very slow. Let's go, truck. Let's see what they got going on.
broken down? Oh, they may have been hit. Daniel's random road events. Uh, no, so I don't normally, I don't have uh, road events turned on in my multiplayer profile. I haven't had road events turned on, and so I have like the yawns. I start recording a video, and all of a sudden, I'm just yawning. I don't know what it is. Um, I haven't had road events turned on in quite a long time so those may be part of the normal game but I also have Daniel's random road events in so I, act, I actually have no idea if that's normal or not I guess that's the kind of the cool thing about this profile and, and starting from scratch is, is that I'm experiencing a lot of things that I haven't experienced in the game in a very long time. Oh, actually, I, I thought my lane ended. Well, that's my bad. Picos. Pecos. I think it's Pecos. Seventy five still. Okay. Oh, no, those were horses. I thought those were cows. just it is such I mean it's not like it's got like giant mountains or anything like that it's just super neat to just look out there you know like I when I was in Wyoming Wyoming was the same way where this kind of looks like Wyoming did when there's just kind of like nothing out there you know Oh, I need Go to be in the right. left hand lane anyway. Left. One of the cool things like when I was driving left. through and left. Arizona and New Mexico and places like that turn was left. is that I would see it was just so neat to see like all the different things off the highway. Uh, you'd see like little towns just out there in what looked like the middle of the desert or you know whatever and there's just this town out there. Go straight. On this little, like, plateau in the middle of the desert kind of thing. This is really cool to see. Not sure about this. Looks like I am heading to the right. Oh, that's a stop light. I didn't stop on the tracks, but no, I gotta go straight. Correct? Yeah, I go straight. Why can't I turn right? That's... There's no... I don't think I turned those right. off. And then turn right. Maybe I have a mod that turns those off. Turn right. I don't recall. I must have a mod that turns off the 
road thing, the yellow X's, or maybe I turned them off in my settings. I don't remember doing that, but I must have. Go straight. I'm speeding. That's my. That's the beeping. Is my is me speeding? Tell me how to live my Go life. Straight. Speeding button beep. Oh, what do we got going on up here? What is this? Well, I better slow down for it, I suppose. Go straight. Well, I will in just a second. There's a stoplight. Come on. Let's go, light. Hammer down. Very, very cool. The ranch. This kind of looks like an ethanol factory that we'd see here in Indiana right there. Go looks like I had an accident. Looks like we're getting off up here on the left. Keep left, and then turn left. A little bit of a lag there. Turn left. Rerouting. I'm turning left. Keep left, and then turn left. this get ready to turn left is this where I'm turning in at where are we going turn left to the vortex yeah that's got to be it looks like a vortex This is cool. Oh, we should get a stop. We should get a uh, a screenshot up here. It's kind of like they're building a road, but not Definitely building a road. I don't know what they're doing out here. We should get a screenshot in front of the oil pump. Turn right. I think that's a good plan. I think that is a fantastic plan right there. Kind of like right here. Let's go. Let's grab a screenshot real fast. All right. Screenshot obtained. Let's finish this guy out. Uh, there's the manhole. <laughs> Out here on the dirt road. Here we are. Safe and sound. Okay. Nope. We, where do we want her? Okay. Oh, I see. It's right there. Okay.
I don't know when I turn the backup beeper on, but I mean, sure. You guys already got one backhoe here. You get a wheel loader over there and a Cadillac right here. Must be the owner's car. I don't back up from inside the cab because, you know, impossible for me. <laughs> Sir, can you please move your backhoe? Thank you. I'm a little off center. It's okay. There we go. Keep her going, keep her going. There we go. Let's see what we did. All right, job complete. How much money did we make? We made $7,563, so that's nice. And we leveled up to level five. So let's put that on high value cargo and apply that. And we now have 45,000. So ever so closer, ever so closer to getting our, fir our first pickup or pickup truck, our first semi. So, um, hey, another load down. Uh, we're progressing on is uh, we're going to have a good time. It's, it's been fun doing the Lone Star Trucking. Hopefully you all are enjoying it. If you do, please leave a... Uh, a like, subscribe, comment, etc., etc., all those fun things that people do. Um, and until next time here on the channel and in Lone Star Trucking, y'all have a great day. Take care. <laughs>